What's up guys, it's Chris here from Chasing Tone. I don't know if anything gave that away today, um, but welcome if you've not been to my YouTube channel before, welcome if you have. This is basically a YouTube channel all about guitar stuff. I'm absolutely obsessed about guitar stuff. I've been playing sort of about 20 years or so, and I'm really interested in sharing my journey with guitar with yourself. And I'm really interested in you sharing your journey with me as well. It's a two way thing, I think. I'm really interested in that. So in today's video, what we're going to be looking at is the Fright Power Station, which is a phenomenal piece of equipment. And what primarily what we're going to be looking at is an application of a power amp, okay? Now, why are we doing this? Because I think it's such a good piece of equipment, I think. And I've, I've looked at a lot of forums that there's a lot of questions around, should I buy the power station as a power amp or should I get a dedicated power amp like a Mesa Boogie or a Fry at 50, uh, 252 or um, you know a Marshall or something like that. Now I didn't buy this as a power amp, I bought this because I kept blowing speakers in my ISO cab because my 100 watt head was just such a beast. <laughs> I kept, I've blown four speakers inadvertently uh, and the the amp was only on say one so i wanted to find a solution that i could crank my amp still get all that juicy tone but do it in a manageable way and this is what the fry power station does now instead of my ramblings about this what i'll do is i'll present the the kind of the the official blurb okay so to understand what the fry power station actually is okay so it's primarily designed and sold as a high-end amplifier attenuator but it also features an effects loop. A reactive load has a 60 watt valve power stage built in. So you can use it as a reverse attenuator. What does that mean? Well, you can take an AC15 JTM45 and it turns it into a 60 watt power stage with the added benefit of an effects loop, which of course so many vintage amps don't have. The power stage provides every guitar player a variety of performing and recording solutions for every kind of playing or performing application or environment. And I would definitely echo that. It is incredibly versatile, I think. So not only can you use it as a power amp like we're going to be doing today, you can use that to crank your 100 watt head um, so you don't piss off your neighbors <laughs> and bring it down to a level that is manageable. And also it can take smaller amps and make them louder whilst having a, a really good effects loop in it, which I use, I don't use any of my effects loops in my amps. I use the power station as that. Now what I've done is I've kind of created a track to try and demonstrate different types of tones. So if we first look at the clean tones that I've, I've uh, recorded today, I use my Randall um, RM4, which is a rack mountable um, preamp. And what I've done is I've used the Randall Blackface module. And um, that was going straight into the power station, straight into an ISO cab with a, um, a Marshall V30, straight into my interface, straight into Luna. Okay, so let, let's listen to that now and see what you think. <laughs> Let's check out the next distorted guitar tones that I did, a little bit of a lead line. Now, again, I use the, the Randall Blackface for this, and this time I'm using the Ibanez Tube Scream just to kind of push it a little bit, and I got this really thick, juicy type of tone out of it. I thought it was really nice. Let's check that out. <laughs> The, the bigger sort of guitar solo, uh, the rhythm guitars, I used my Bogner Ubershell module. I tried to keep the, low, the gain as low as I could, um, <laughs> which is pretty difficult with that. Um, but let's check out those rhythm guitar tones and see what you think. <laughs> Now the solo itself uh, is a great tone, I think. 
I used the Bogner Uber Shell with the Ibanez Tube Screamer. Pretty, pretty heavy. There's a lot of distortion on there. And I think listening back to them, the tones are brilliant, I think. They're awesome. Uh, for me personally. I Would I buy this just as a power amp? I think given the tones today, absolutely, I think. But I do believe that there's other power amps out there that will impart more character to the sound. Because the power station isn't about adding character. It's about keeping things as clean as it can, which it does absolutely brilliantly you know, well. But people might not want that. They might want a little bit more character out of something. So they might want the Messer sound or the Marshall sound or the Engel sound. And you won't get that from the power station because its job is to not leave a footprint anywhere, basically. is to take your sound and just make it better, but don't impart anything to it. So it doesn't do that. So who's the power station for? Well, I think really if you've got a smaller amp that you need to make louder, if you have a loud amp that you want to make, that you want to crank, but you want to make quieter, if that makes sense. Now, if you have a preamp, you have a Helix, um, or like myself, I've got uh, preamps, uh, Kemper, this will sound really good with it, in my, my opinion, which is very subjective, of course, isn't it, with sound? It's very subjective, what we all look for. Uh, but in my view, um, if you want a Bogner sound, okay, you will get a Bogner sound, because you will get a very clean power amp sound. So you will basically get the sound of the preamp without any other characteristics in there. But as we said, you won't get the character of different things. Now I'm gonna be doing a couple of more videos on the Fright Power Station because I genuinely think it is such a fantastic piece of equipment. Prior to this, I bought a Boss Waza tube amp expander and I, I really didn't get on with it. I, I'm sure it's absolutely fantastic for some people. Um, sure, really works for some people. Didn't really work for me. Um, and my amp personally but this is brilliant it generally is uh, and I, I want to kind of share that with you today so I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts have you got a power station do you use it as a power amp what's your thoughts on the sounds that you've heard today uh, anything else that you'd like to see in a video that I could do really really interested in some feedback guys because I you know I really want to kind of grow my YouTube channel and I really want to help you on your journey and you know i'd like some help on my journey as well so that let's do that together so um all things being well i shall see you in the next video and you take good care of yourselves and uh keep on rocking all right guys take care